guys, I just wanted to do a really quick tutorial um, for how to get waves with a curling iron. Beachy waves right now are probably the biggest thing that we get asked to do in the salon and you see it all over Instagram. Um, and a lot of times I do them with a flat iron and I have a flat iron curl video from years ago. I'll probably film a new one just because that one might be a little bit dated. Um, so this is done with a one and a quarter hot, hot tools barrel iron. Um, so just a little bit straighter ends, kind of messy texture, um, really popular and on trend for right now. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I curled my hair a couple of days ago, so there's still definitely a little bit of curl in it, but I'm shampooing my hair only once a week, so I didn't want to wait until a wash day to film a video again. So I'm just going to go ahead and section off above my ears. And I have a braid, so I'll be eliminating this section, but I'll show you and tell you exactly what to do for that section. I'm gonna clip this up out of the way. And I'm using a Hot Tools curling iron. This one's in an inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna do that underneath section first. And that's just from the ears down. And to give you a looser kind of wave, <clears throat> I'm gonna take about one inch sections, maybe a little bit bigger than that. And I'm gonna hold it straight out. And I'm gonna curl this one away from my face. So I'm clamping in the middle and then just feeding the hair through until I have about an inch through the ends. So see how that leaves that more straight? Okay. The next section I'm going to curl towards my face. So alternating the sections is really what's going to give you that looser wave versus perfect cookie cutter curls that we call dookie curls in the biz. You can see puppy looking out the window. She's been a mess this morning. So this one will be away. And definitely spray your hair with some type of like working spray or um, hairspray before you get started. My hair has so much dry shampoo in it and um, hairspray already that I don't really need to. It's gonna hold really well on its own. Plus having so many chemicals on my hair, my hair holds curl a little bit easier. So same thing on this side. Start out curling away from your face. And then this one will be towards. So until I get around, so normally I would drop another section about halfway, the halfway point on this side since this is the side that I have less hair on. So somewhere around here. And then I'm going to continue working my way around the head, doing the same thing, starting out away from my face and then alternating towards and away. So on this side, I would just do the same thing away towards, away towards, just working my way over. I don't have as much hair to curl today since I have it braided. So 
So now the next section will be this section, kind of the halfway point between what I already have sectioned out. And I'm not taking it all the way to the back, I'm kind of stopping it right where that ridge of my head is. Start out away from your face. And I kind of push this forward and over direct. You can see. That's gonna give you that little bit of twist right in front of your face. If it gets a little too curly on the end, then just kind of pull your curling iron through the ends, and then that'll loosen it back up again. You don't want it too curly. The ends being more straight, that's why we leave them out, is what gives it that more modern kind of beachy wave that's really popular, as opposed to like Shirley Temple curls. So I still have this back section. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this front section. And you can do this one of two ways. You can continue alternating towards your face and away from your face if you want a really random, kind of more messy texture. I'm gonna take this whole top section and curl it away from my face, but still over directing that front piece towards your face. If it gets too curly, let's pull that straight a little bit. I like to start my curls up a little bit higher. Just because I like a little bit more texture. Now this back section, I'm going to drop that into two sections. I'm going to continue alternating towards and away from my face, but right through kind of the crown sections here on either side, I like to direct back and away towards the back just because it gives a little bit more volume and lift right in that crown and it keeps it from falling and separating because my hair has a tendency to kind of all fall towards my face and have a big split down the back middle. section. Again, directing that kind of back away. And this piece naturally wants to part and fall over here, so I'm gonna curl it this way. That way it'll hopefully turn in and not wanna separate and fall that direction. So you kind of just have to go with your natural part line. 
if you get a big split there. And then same thing with this piece. Generally, in the salon, I would finish this off with a quash dry shampoo. It's my favorite, um, and it's great because it gives a ton of texture. It's got kind of a salty texture to it, so it's going to give that grit that everybody likes that gives a really beachy kind of wave. I already have so much dry shampoo in my hair. I don't need that, so I'm going to give it just a little bit of spray after I run my hands through it. So I'm just going to break up those curls. Sometimes I like this piece right around my face a little bit more straight. So I'm just gonna pull the iron through kind of backwards and just straighten that out a little bit. And I'm gonna use a quash finishing spray just to finish this off. Normally if I was using dry shampoo, I would use it even if the hair was completely clean. And that's just going to be good so that um, if you're starting out already with a clean slate. It'll keep your hair from getting dirty as quickly and then it'll give you that nice volume at the roots. Sometimes really clean hair can be too flat. So it'll give just enough texture at the roots to where you can kind of shift it and put it where you want it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, if you want to see more hair tutorials, definitely just comment below or post to my social media on Instagram, Charm Edwards, and let me know what kind of looks you guys would like to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.